Hello everybody and welcome to another Coding Made Easy tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, XNA 4.0 on Visual Studio 2012. It's easy but uh, I'm just going to be following the steps on this, sorry, I'm going to be following the steps on what I found on this post on Stack Overflow and uh, this is what worked for me so I'm going to be walking you through it and I'm going to be providing this link in the description just in case you guys want to do any references or see all different alternatives that you can do. Okay so this is the main alternative so what it says is copy the XNA game extension from VS10 to VS11. Uh, so what I don't have Visual Studio 2010 installed anymore. I just uninstalled it because I got everything set up. But in the folder, first of all, before you even start this tutorial, you're going to have to have XNA 4.0 installed, which means you're going to have to have a version of Visual Studio 2010 on your computer. So if you don't have that, then install Visual C Sharp uh, 2010 Express Edition since it's not that big and uh, then install XNA 4.0 or XNA 4.0 refresh or the Windows Phone 7 SDK or whatever. So uh, once you got once you got that set up, uh, once you got everything installed, then this is what you're gonna have to do. Now first of all, you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to close down Visual Studio 2012 just um, just to be safe. So once everything is closed down and everything, what we need to do is go to the folder where we actually installed um, XNA, okay? I mean Visual Studio. So let's just pretend this is the folder where I installed Visual Studio 2010 in, okay? Uh, it should be 2010, not 2012, whatever. Anyways, we're going to double click the folder where we installed it. So I installed it in the E drive, so Visual Studio 2000. Uh, we'll click common 7 IDE we're gonna click extensions Microsoft and we should see a folder called XNA game studio 4.0 so we're gonna copy that and we're gonna go to where we install Visual Studio 2012 and then we're gonna go to that folder we're gonna click common 7 IDE extensions Microsoft and we're gonna paste it in here like so okay so once we paste it in there, we're, we're going to double click this and we're going to see a file called extension and it's a v6 manifest file. So we're going to open that with any text editor. I'll open it with notepad++. This is right here. This line is going to say 10.0. You're going to want to change this to 11.0 or 11.0, whichever one, you, however you pronounce it and save it. Okay. Now, after that, what you're going to want to do in this step, it doesn't show you this right here, but what you're going to want to do to be on the safe side is you're going to want to, in your address bar, edit the address, and you're going to want to input this. So, percent local app data, percent Microsoft slash Visual Studio slash 11.0 slash extensions. Click enter. Now, you see these cache files. Now, it might, um, it might differentiate depending on your depending on your region right it might not say it might say dot en dot gb or dot dot en dash something else eu or whatever right uh, since i have the american version it says dot en dash us so you want to delete these cache files don't worry visual studio will recreate them after right once you do that and then you can open a visual studio now visual studio 2012 now if it's not uh if the extension isn't there if visual if xna is not set up there if you're not like if you put a new project and you can't see it under visual c sharp then what you need to do is go to the command line and type in this following command now this command does it from the c drive what you need to do is um put it in the command line put it where you actually installed visual studio Find that and go to common 7 like we did before, IDE dev env exe slash setup. And you click enter and it should set up everything accordingly. And what this will do, it, it will basically kind of like force install the extension on it. And once you open up Visual Studio again, uh, it should show that you can create XNA games. So just to show you how I would do it in the, in the command line. Uh, hold on. 
Okay, so we would call uh in mine's installed in the E drive, so I'd call E Visual Studio uh slash command seven slash IDE slash dev env and I put slash setup and I don't think it'll really work for me since I already got it set up. I think an error message is gonna pop up or something. Oh, well, it says operation could not be completed. I don't know what I don't know why, but it should work for. Oh no, it should be dev env dot exe. Uh, not sure if it's actually gonna work. Yeah, it says that operation could not be completed for me, but it should work for you. Uh, for me, um, I didn't really have to run this step. I just opened Visual Studio and it was there. But if it doesn't appear there, then you can always run this command right here. Uh, if that does not work for you, then if you look at the link on this, uh, you can see a bunch of different options that you can do to see if that will work out for you. Uh, but essentially, this method should work right here. So if you have any questions or anything, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, you can comment below. Uh, you can ask a question on my forum. So don't be afraid to comment, rate, and subscribe. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And bye.